Hello and welcome. Habits. We all have them. Do we want to change them? Do you truly want to change your habits? Not all of them, just one or two of them. It's a serious question. Unless you are in a place where I must change, I will change, I'm going to change, pretty pointless. Simple examples. In your life, you or maybe even yourself, you've known when you've done something which has brought you pleasure and then you've changed your mind. An example could quite easily be smoking. A lot of people started smoking because of the peer pressure, those around them, and then eventually, as they gained more information and as the meaning of health tipped and meant more to do with pleasure, they suddenly gave up. Just like that. I remember one old bloke I used to work with, I think on his 65th, 65th birthday, he knew he was going to give up smoking and did. He'd smoked for 30, 40, whatever years, and he just gave up because that's what he wanted to do. So, as I said before in the last recording, pain and pleasure are the two extremes. And what we do is we are always anchoring those moments. And they are all connected to our strong beliefs and values, our beliefs about life, our values about what's important and so on. And without realizing it, it is my belief that quite a few of us in having those strong beliefs and values become our worst enemy as opposed to our best friend. Now again, this is just my belief, but I like to fill this thing with what I want to fill it with. So I don't watch soap operas. They're other people's reality, they're only actors, and they personally, it equals pain for me to even think about watching a soap opera. But for other people, it equals pleasure. And it means switch off time, I can go into the alpha state and just watch it. That's their choice. Yeah? But what's interesting is I have found is that they then create their lifestyles around watching a soap opera. I mean, I remember when I was doing my undergrad and, you know, we actually had neighbouritis where people actually stopped going to lectures because Neighbours was on. <laughs> interesting. Anyway, how do you get rid of your habits? Well, the first thing you've obviously got to want to do it. Now, while I am having this conversation with myself, recording this, let's say Sarah walked in. And she asked me a question, and then I came back to this recording. She's interrupted my pattern, my train of thought. And you, no doubt, in your life, you've had the same situation where you're talking to somebody and you either hear a noise or somebody steps up to the plate and has a chat with you and interrupts your pattern. Guess what? That's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to interrupt your pattern, to stop yourself. If you wanted to stop this, stop your drinking. Those are just some addictions. Or maybe you've got a habit of doing something, again, which doesn't serve you or doesn't serve those around you, like you may fart in bed or something, <laughs> unless I'll be too serious about it, and your partner keeps telling you, don't do that, but you, you insist in, in doing that. Whatever it is, you want to change it, you've got to, I will change, I'm going to change, I must change. This is what I'm going to do. Now, again, it may be that you don't get the results you want initially because the old program still plays out but you've still got to interrupt your pattern as soon as you're aware of it and replace it. Now for me it's all about that gut feeling that when my gut feeling of something is pleasure I'm going to do it but when my gut feeling is pain I'm not going to do it. So if in your in your heart and in your in your gut you really you're not sure then that's where you're at and just accept that but trust me when you're ready you will make that distinction you will make that change exactly on time how do we know because it occurred so, are you ready? Interrupt your pattern. Whether you flip your nose, flip your ears, make a stupid pig noise, or start barking like a dog, interrupt your pattern. Maybe you go to a social event and, you know, you've, you've said to yourself that you won't eat any bread or something, and all of a sudden you found some bread and you've eaten it and you didn't realise, and you've interrupted your pattern, and then leave what's left, and then continue with your meal. But there also might be consequences to your actions where you actually then go out and don't have any food at all or you don't have any alcohol. I mean, that's a major challenge for a lot of people because it's socially acceptable to drink when alcohol is a poison. Again, I form no judgments, but it's, it's in everyone's home and that's what people do. You know, if I tell you enough time, you're, st you know, you're stupid, then how, eventually you'll start to buy into my BS. Well, not all of you, but some of you interrupt your pattern. Don't buy into any of my stuff. I want you to find what works for you. I want you to become the change you want to see in the world. 
In order to do that, most of us have to become conscious. We have to be aware of things. Like I've said before, if I was an unconscious parent, they am shouting at Sarah, and I wonder why my child shouts back at me or, or back at their mother. But, well, where do you think they learnt it from? <laughs> you know, I'll take my child for um, a bike ride and, and I don't wear a helmet, but they wear a helmet. Again, mixed messages. Or if I smoked, but I'd never want my child to smoke. Again, it's being unconscious. Become that change. So interrupt a pattern and then replace it with something. So an example I work with smoking, if, if you want to quit smoking, stick a bottle of water in your mouth. You want a cigarette, a bottle of water. That's just one example. As soon as I realised the effects of what a microwave does, nuking my food, I got rid of my microwave. As soon as I was aware of what aluminium or aluminium did, I used to wrap it around my salmon and, and cook it. I used to bake it in the oven. But as soon as I was aware of it, instantly. Why? Because the beliefs and values that I hold strongly to, thinking I know something about health, once I got this information, I thought, right. And that was it. It was a no-brainer for me. But where in your life, have a look at your own, your own habits that you're not happy with and slowly make one or two changes to them. Interrupt your pattern and then replace it with something else that serves you. Obviously, instead of me wrapping tin foil or aluminium or aluminum foil around food, I then decided to either grill it slightly or I started to do um, stir fry. And instead of me using a microwave, I started using a crock pot and I started using a steamer. So those are just some examples. Where in your life are you not happy with or do you have habits that do not serve you and those around you? Interrupt your pattern. Do it now. Replace it with something else. See if that works for you. Hmm. Silence is golden. That little chattering monkey. <laughs> Have fun doing it as well. Don't be so serious. Like I said before, being serious kills passion. And it also kills people. So don't be serious all the time. <laughs> this is what I keep telling myself. That's why I'm reminding you. <laughs> Have fun. My love to you all. Enjoy your day. Bye for now.